What's up YouTube? Uh, today I'll be talking about SHSH Blob and how it, important it is to save it on your uh, Sarx server. Um, you know, before the 4.1 OS is released from Apple. And I know the jailbreak for iPhone 4, we are all waiting for it right now. And as soon as that comes in, uh, you know, saving your blobs before that will be in handy just in case something goes wrong with the uh, 4.1 upgrade or you accidentally upgrade it and you want to downgrade it so the program is called Tiny Umbrella and this is the website um, if you already downloaded this before uh, you should download it again because they have a new version uh, the current version is this uh, let's see so just download the program and let it run. Let's see. And right now I have an iPhone 4 and I just upgraded it to the 4.0.1. Uh, unfortunately, according to uh, the website, you cannot save your 4.0 blobs anymore. Uh, but that's fine if you just upgraded to 4.0.1 um, you'll be fine so after that let's go to downloads and then let's open it All right, let's read the. No, we don't want to read this. So basically, uh, I connected it, and the iPhone 4 uh, is hooked up. And all you got to do is just save my SHSH. And everything looks good here. And yeah, just don't touch this and just save it. And for iPhone 4 users, just plug and play basically and for other uh, devices you just gotta go to advanced options and you know if you upgraded to 4.0 like let's say if you're on a 3GS and you already did the 4.0 upgrade and you didn't save your blob you can just simply go to you know iPhone 3GS and just select this select that and then save it and from there you can uh, downgrade from 4.0 to 3.1.3 I have a video uh, as well that shows you how to uh, downgrade so basically this phone is saved so you know just in case I want to downgrade back to 4.0.1 I can because Apple will not allow you to do that anymore and if anything else goes wrong let's say you start this up and you're trying to downgrade and it doesn't go through through iTunes uh, just check out my other video and it'll tell you how to uh, go under hosts and reroute it basically and make it think your phone is legit um, yeah and everything should be fine after that so we're just waiting for the uh, jailbreak of iPhone 4 and I'll keep you all posted